Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. GOP follows Trump's lead, demands leak investigation. By Nicole Duran, Susan Ferracchio. House and Senate Republicans are following President Trump's lead by demanding investigations into the damaging leaks that have been pouring out of the federal government since President Trump took office. Leaks that exposed former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn's phone call to the Russian ambassador in December, as well as conversations between Trump and foreign leaders, have frustrated Trump in his first few weeks in office. When Democrats pounced and said further investigations into the White House are warranted, Trump said the real issue is the leaks themselves. The real story here is why there are so many illegal leaks coming out of Washington, Trump tweeted. Republicans in Congress made it clear they are ready to oblige. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, Republican California, is drafting a letter to the FBI that will ask the Bureau investigate the leaks. That includes an examination of who obtained and leaked a private telephone conversation between Flynn and Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak that led to Flynn's ousting late Monday. The chairman is drafting a letter to FBI Director James Comey asking the FBI to look into, and report to the House Intelligence Committee on, the long series of purported leaks of classified information we've seen for the last several months," a GOP aide said. The Senate Intelligence Committee may also look into the leaks as part of its probe into Flynn's conversations with the Russians and whether a special foreign intelligence surveillance court permitted them to record that conversation, said Senator Roy Blunt, our Mo. I think there are a number of unanswered questions that need to be answered about the documents, about whether there was a FISA order," said Blunt, a member of the Senate leadership and the intelligence panel. There are lots of things that I assure you that Intelligence Committee members will be looking at and I think we'll be talking about that even later today and later this week. The calls involving Flynn took place during the presidential transition period, before Trump took office and their contents were revealed in media reports by anonymous former and current U.S. officials. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.